Ever pondered why commercial flights tend to circumnavigate Antarctica? This icy, desolate continent at the bottom of our globe presents a fascinating conundrum. With its vast expanses of white wilderness and unique positioning, it's a place like no other. Yet despite its allure, it's a region that most commercial airlines prefer to bypass. It might seem perplexing, but there are compelling reasons behind this flight pattern. So without further ado, let's delve into the reasons why pilots steer clear of this frozen continent. Antarctica, as remote as it is, lacks the necessary infrastructure for regular commercial flights. Imagine trying to operate an airline without airports or refueling stations. It's like trying to run a marathon without any water stations along the route. Antarctica's isolation and harsh environment make the construction and maintenance of such infrastructure a daunting task. Therefore, the lack of these facilities means airlines have to carry extra fuel, reducing the payload and making flights economically unviable. Without the necessary facilities, flights over Antarctica simply aren't feasible. Another major deterrent is Antarctica's notorious weather. Imagine trying to navigate through a landscape where extreme temperatures are the norm, not the exception. The mercury can plunge to bone-chilling lows, making it a hostile environment for any form of air travel. But it's not just the cold that pilots have to contend with. Unpredictable storms can suddenly sweep across the icy plains, bringing with them blinding blizzards that can disrupt even the most carefully planned flight paths. Imagine flying through a snowstorm so intense that it's like trying to fly through a wall of white. That's what pilots could potentially face over Antarctica. Low visibility is a serious issue, caused not just by these snowfalls, but by whiteouts. Weather conditions in which the horizon becomes indistinguishable from the snow-covered ground, making navigation extremely challenging. The extreme weather and low visibility make it a high-risk zone for flights. Beyond the weather, there are other factors that complicate matters. Chief among them is the strong magnetic fields near the Earth's poles. You see, our planet is a bit like a giant magnet, and these fields are constantly in flux. This can play havoc with an aircraft's navigation systems, making it tricky for pilots to find the correct runway. It's like trying to find your way home in a labyrinth that's always changing its layout. On top of that, Antarctica's terrain is anything but accommodating. Its windy and snowy conditions combined with the harsh, uneven landscape pose serious challenges. Imagine trying to land a plane on a roller coaster track in the middle of a blizzard. It's a real test of a pilot's skill and nerve. These geographical and environmental factors contribute to the complexity of flying over Antarctica. It's not just about avoiding the cold. It's about navigating a dynamic and challenging environment. In essence, Flying over Antarctica is a formidable challenge for commercial airlines. The lack of infrastructure in this remote and icy region makes it difficult for regular commercial operations. There are no airports or refueling stations, a stark contrast to the facilities we take for granted in other parts of the world. The weather conditions in Antarctica only add to the complexity. With extreme temperatures, unpredictable storms, blinding blizzards and low visibility due to snowfalls and whiteouts, it's a veritable gauntlet for pilots. Moreover, the strong magnetic fields near the Earth's poles can interfere with navigation, making it a challenge to find the correct runway. And let's not forget the additional difficulties posed by the rough, mountainous terrain and the threat of whiteouts that could expose passengers to harsh, freezing conditions. So the next time you're planning a flight, you can appreciate why planes give this icy continent a wide berth. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more aviation insights. Safe travels.